Hi, this is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo. And in today's video, I want to share with you my answer to the question, Are business mentors responsible for your business setbacks? Hmm, that was a question asked by April in one of our free 30-minute mentoring calls. Now, before I forget, if you have not done so, may I invite you to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so you'll be notified when I answer more questions like this. Okay, let's get back to my answer to the question of April, which is, simply put, are mentors or coaches or consultants liable for your failures? Now, even if April is a very hardworking woman, she knew how to ask questions. She had a business selling handmade crafts. At a certain point, she felt a bit lost, wanting her business to grow. And she learned about me from her friends. But she was scared because she said, what if mentors give her the wrong advice? So she had a big question and therefore she asked me first before getting into a coaching agreement with me. Can mentors like me, according to her, be blamed if her business doesn't go well? So I told her the story of Leia. Leia was a coaching client as well and she came to me when she wanted to start her donut business. So this is what we learned together. Firstly, you have to choose the right mentor. You cannot just choose any mentor. It has to be the right mentor. So Leia looked at my 40 years of experience and she felt that she could trust me. She wanted to sell a lot of donuts and she knew that I had 18 years of experience in the food business. So when she got me in, I showed her how step by step she could attain the goals that she has for her business. She started her donut business from scratch just by knowing how to create donuts, how to produce donuts. And from there, I led her through the process. This made Leia very hopeful and excited. After that, she was able to bring her business from one branch to more than three branches. Now, the second thing that I led her to learn is self-responsibility. I told her that even though I was guiding her, you have to make your own choice. What I am doing is I am helping you make decisions. I'm helping you see the options that you have and then eventually you would be the one to decide because this is your business. You cannot depend on me forever. She learned from things that did not work and she took action. She did not just wait. After doing a lot of corrections in her own business with my guidance, it made Leia feel very strong and in charge. So what you can learn from a mentor, the right mentor, is other than what to do, how to do things, you can learn to do the inner work. What is it exactly that has to change with your beliefs, with your mindset, that will help you create the growth that you need from your business? So that should be your second criteria in choosing the right mentor. The next thing that she learned was open communication. You have to be very transparent with your coach or your mentor. You cannot keep things from her because otherwise the mentor will have a wrong impression and will give you the wrong direction. So whenever Leia was not sure, she would ask me. She was open about it. She did not feel stupid. She knew that she was there to learn from me. So this helped avoid any confusion between us. So if she would feel scared or worried, she would really express her feelings and we would talk and we would find a way out. So after being open to each other, Leia started to feel safer and very supported. And she started to feel very confident about her own business. Now, one of the things that she needed to learn was the role of a mentor. Yes, true, I gave Leia advice because I had experience in business. But all of these advices will have to depend on Leia, what she is capable of and what she's willing to do. So she started to learn to make big choices. Things in business will always change. So a mentor's job is just to be helping and guiding but Leia should learn also how to change with the changes that are happening in the business, especially now that so many things are happening with technology, with AI, and all of the other changes that are happening in the market. After she was able to learn how to shift and change with the changes in her environment, Leia learned how to have more confidence in herself and more ready for the challenges that she will be facing in her business. So eventually, what was very, very strong was that the right mentor can give you emotional support, which is basically anchored on your inner work. So Leia had a lot of fear and I showed her these fears. I helped her try to find out what are the root causes of these fears. 
And after understanding where these fears come from, which is usually from childhood between one to seven, there are memories there that have affected you and traumatized you, but which you have just taken for granted, I told Leia. After discovering all of those fears and their root causes, she was able to move past them. And when she made her first big donut big sale, we were so happy together. In the end, Leia saw that mentors can guide and help, but the business owner has to grow and has to be able to decide for herself. So after she saw this, she felt very proud, she was very happy, and she was ready to grow her business even more. Was that helpful? Let us know what other business questions you have, okay? So if that was helpful and you want more business tips, then click the link in the description below to sign up for my weekly newsletter and you'll get free access to exclusive insights, private questions and answers, and inspiring episodes delivered from my heart to yours straight to your inbox. This is Mommy N, your mommy negocio saying, be business-minded, Pinoy. Pinoy.